Julius Mailma, born on March 3, 1981 in Sashigo, South Africa, has been a significant and contentious figure in South African politics. His political journey began with his involvement in the African National Congress ANC, where he rose to prominence as the leader of the ANC Youth League Ansel in 2008. His tenure was marked by bold, often polarizing, statements and actions that pushed for economic empowerment of the black majority. However, his rhetoric and conduct led to disciplinary actions, and he was eventually expelled from the ANC in 2012. Following his expulsion, Mailma founded the Economic Freedom Fighters EFF in 2013, a far-left, pan-Africanist political party. Under his leadership, the EFF has campaigned vigorously for radical changes, including the expropriation of land without compensation and the nationalization of mines and banks. Mailma's approach mixes revolutionary zeal with a populist touch, making him both a folk hero and a figure of controversy. His politics focus heavily on addressing the socioeconomic disparities that persist in post-apartheid South Africa. Hit the subscribe button to stay connected with all our latest updates. We've got some exciting content coming up that you won't want to miss. Mailma's career has not been without legal and ethical challenges, including charges of corruption and hate speech. Despite these issues, he remains a powerful voice in South African politics, consistently advocating for what he perceives as justice for economically disenfranchised black South Africans. His story is one of resilience and controversy, embodying the complex dynamics of modern South African political and social life. Julius Mailma is married to Mantua Matlala, and the couple tied the knot in December 2014. They have kept their personal life relatively private, especially concerning their children. Mailma has occasionally shared moments involving his family on social media, which reflect his role as a family man alongside his political persona. His family life is generally kept out of the extensive media spotlight that follows his political career. Julius Mailma's business dealings have occasionally come under scrutiny, although specific details about his business interests are not as publicly documented as his political career. There have been allegations and investigations regarding his finances and potential business interests, particularly during his time with the Inc. Youth League. However, public information on his business ventures is limited, and Mailma is primarily known for his role in South African politics as the leader of the Economic Freedom Fighters EFF. Julius Mailma, a controversial figure at the forefront of South African politics. Julius Mailma, the leader of the Economic Freedom Fighters EFF, remains one of South Africa's most polarizing political figures. Known for his radical policies and fiery rhetoric, Mailma has consistently been at the center of political discourse. As South Africa grapples with issues of land reform and economic inequality, Mailma's calls for expropriation without compensation and nationalization of key industries have sparked both admiration and controversy. His influence continues to grow, raising questions about the future direction of the nation's politics. The man behind the movement. Despite the controversies, Mailma's commitment to his cause is undeniable. He envisions a South Africa where wealth is distributed more evenly and where the disenfranchised gain a louder voice. As the country moves forward, the role Mailma will play in shaping its future remains a subject of intense debate and interest, reflecting the deep divisions and challenges within South African society. Durban, South Africa the controversial leader of South Africa's third-largest political party promised Saturday to create jobs for millions of the country's unemployed and turn around its economy as he seeks to attract more voters ahead of the much-anticipated general election. Economic Freedom Fighters EFF party founder Julius Mailma addressed a packed 56,000 capacity Moses Mabhita Stadium in the coastal city of Durban as he launched the party's election manifesto to the delight of supporters. This is not a manifesto of promises, it's a manifesto of commitments, he said. With election season well underway in South Africa, most political parties who have not launched their manifestos are expected to do so in the coming weeks. A date for the election has not been announced.
The election is expected to be highly contested because the ruling African National Congress, which has governed the country since Nelson Mandela became South Africa's first democratically elected leader in 1994, faces myriad challenges. EFF party supporters Saturday, clad in red party regalia, including t-shirts with Malema's likeness, went into a frenzy as he entered the stadium, singing struggle songs and liberation slogans. The EFF is popular among many disenchanted South Africans, especially youth, due to its radical policies that include the expropriation of white-owned land and the nationalization of mines and banks. Mailma, a controversial figure who largely divides opinion for his radical proposals to solve the country's problems, continues to enjoy widening popularity in South Africa and increasingly across Africa. A former Ankh youth leader who was expelled from the party, Mailma is now among the ruling party's staunchest critics. He's an outspoken lawmaker who has become a thorn in the side of the Ankh and South African President Cyril Ramaphosa. The EFF garnered 10% of the national vote in the country's 2019 elections to become the third largest opposition party. Buoyed by the decline in support for the ANC, which has governed South Africa since 1994, the party expects to increase its support in the upcoming elections. Polls by polling firm Ipsos released this week estimate the EFF could perform better in the upcoming elections and replace the Democratic Alliance as the second biggest party in the country. The same polls also suggest the ANC could dip under 50% of electoral support in what is expected to be the ruling party's toughest elections yet. Mailma announced the party's slogan for the coming elections as Jobs and Land Now, Stop Load Shedding, a phrase that alludes to the country's high unemployment rate of more than 30 percent, the slow pace of land redistribution, and the country's electricity crisis, which has resulted in rolling power blackouts. This manifesto is a manifesto of the people swimming in the pool of poverty, said Malma. Malma said the party would stop the power blackouts that are impacting the country's economy and would create jobs through, among other things, the creation of social housing and road infrastructure. He also promised to jail politicians and public servants who are implicated in corruption and vowed to introduce incentives for police to fight the country's high prevalence of crime. We are going to increase the visibility of police and soldiers. Many of you can't say that you saw the police on your way here, he said. Mailma also promised to increase social welfare grants and introduce a basic income grant for the unemployed. Some EFF supporters who spoke to the Associated Press expressed confidence in the party's chances in the upcoming elections. Noman Simlane, 28, a staunch EFF supporter wearing party regalia, said the party was the only one serious about changing black people's economic situation in South Africa. Julius Mailma, head of the Economic Freedom Fighters in South Africa, has committed to a significant employment boost and solving the energy crisis should he be elected. Speaking energetically at a rally in Durban, Mailma laid out his vision for economic revitalization, which includes ambitious land reform and nationalizing key sectors. His approach aims to engage young voters and those frustrated by current economic hardships. For a full rundown. The much-anticipated 2024 national and provincial elections being held on the 29th of May are gathering momentum. Meanwhile, political parties are also moving at high speed, campaigning to get the attention of voters. Tell us what you think about Julius Mailma and his party economic freedom fighter. Hey everyone, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Subscribing is a great way to stay updated on our latest content and be part of our growing community. Thanks for watching and your support.